Hey guys, so it's currently 2 a.m. and I made the huge mistake of drinking a whole pint of coffee earlier. I thought it was decaf, but it turned out to be a full-on caffeine fest. Seriously, look at the mug. It's bigger than my head. Well, kind of. I've got a really big head. So I'm wide awake. I've just been staring at the ceiling like... So I thought rather than doing that, I could hang out with you guys until I get sleepy. Which probably isn't gonna happen. Also, I'm gonna try and keep my voice down as Dan is asleep through the wall. Let's see what I get up to for the rest of the night. I've decided to do something productive and tidy my room. And in today's episode of Random Crap on Phil's Floor, a photo of my cactus, a punk sleeve. Could just make the punk edits video again. A gift bag of the London Underground. I think the Queen lives there. Sorry, Mom. And a Tamagotchi. I don't even know what this is. Why is it flashing? I thought I heard an owl, but I think it was just a drunk person pretending to be an owl. Good. I'm hatching the Tamagotchi to keep me company. It's alive! I'm gonna call you Sir No Sleep. Or Neep for short. Look how long my fringe is, I really need a haircut. You'll be happy to know I'm still team socks in bed. This is just the ultimate example of 2015 fashion. Hello. So I tidy my room, so it's time for some internet. And you know what I do when I'm bored? I go on Google Maps and explore the world. So I grab the little yellow man and drop him at a random place in the world and see what I can find. Why not come on this adventure, friend? Wow, this looks very American. You gonna see any animals? Oh, <gasps> what are they? Are they plastic cows? That is so weird. What is happening? In a plastic cow wagon. There's Steve and Joe ready to sacrifice themselves to the plastic cows. That's a cool house. Oh, they've got all their curtains closed. Definitely vampires. Kualia de Zagoza. Oh, this is pretty. The Mexican sun is so intense, it looks like it's about to explode. What is that? It's like a giant mole has been burrowing through the ground. If you're in Mexico, Look out for the giant mole. Let's go to Australia and look for some animals. Do you reckon that's an Australian spider's nest? It's from a dingo huntsman. There's a traditional Australian man. He's actually got his hands stuck in his pocket, so he's on the way to the fire brigade. Very disappointed with the lack of kangaroos, though, if I am honest. It's now 10 to 4, and I've decided to tweet you guys, see what you're up to. Shayna Paddycox is eating a cookie with her pet snake. Glad you're not eating a snake with your pet cookie, or I would call the snake police. That dog is so cute. I'm gonna claw my whole face off. Madeline's making crystals for chemistry. Just make sure you're not using Walter White's recipe. And Natalia said her broccoli is haunted. Good luck with that. Andy, you're still awake. Keep me company. I've come into the lounge so I can use my actual voice. Sorry if I just exploded your speakers. Anyway, my mum always used to say, if you can't sleep, then you should have a snack. Which wasn't the most profound saying, but <laughs> it's what she used to say. So I've decided to make myself a midnight snack, except for me it is a 4am snack. Having some healthy cereal, though I'm not entirely sure how healthy it is, as it's filled with tiny bits of chocolate. Just the same as kale. Playing Mario Kart against these insomniacs. Look how much my me looks like me. Fail. So it's about 5am, and I actually got really sleepy until the birds started tweeting. What are they even talking about? reading about scorpions. Apparently they live for eight years and Antarctica is the only place on earth where you won't find a scorpion. I suddenly feel really itchy. Even Neep has fallen asleep. Why would you leave me? Oh, nice, I actually yawned. I'm finally tired. I also think the sun is about to rise, so I'm gonna try and get some sleep so I don't go on to New Zealand time and break myself forever. But before I go, you may remember I was in a park with Jack Howard for a mysterious thing a while ago. Well, it's finally out. We were in a pick a path adventure for Rise Above designed to help you make the right decisions in life. So if you wanna try and find me on that, it is at riseabove.org.uk and I've put a link in the description below. Today's Draw Phil Naked is... <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this weird night long video adventure. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and you can also click on my hand to subscribe. Kind of looks like a weird alien. Should probably click on it before it attacks the camera. Oh no, the birds are tweeting again. <laughs>